Oh boy, I am so, so, so excited for today's video because we are starting a brand new Let's Play series on Jungle Explorer, which is made by the legendary 4J Studios. Now 4J, they are by far one of the best map makers I've seen in a very long time. And they used to be, of course, the Minecraft match pack makers. And now they don't really make match packs as much anymore. They now end up making some kind of maps. Now this is actually the second map that 4J has ever released. And this is all about exploring a jungle. You have yourself bosses, you have animals to locate, and you even have yourself a gallery that you can paste your different photos in, which is actually really, really cool. And so there is a total of 14 animals and creatures that you can go ahead and photograph. It's actually pretty nice. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this. It says the world map will update as you explore and complete activities. And the one thing that 4J love to do, hide the music discs. Yes, we have ourselves all the different music discs that we can go ahead and locate. The 12 hidden music discs. So it's actually pretty cool. And I actually want to go and see what's inside of this chest over here. If we have ourselves like anything to help us out with our journey. There's some apples. There is a rusty mache or machete. My bad. I said it completely wrong. My bad. No big game out of me, please. We'll scare ourselves another fishing rod in a raft. Okay. You know what? I might as well take a bed with me. Oh, I can't even take a bed with me. Well, at least my respawn point is set. So we do have got ourselves some ender chest as well. We have ourselves this book right here. It says, Welcome to Jungle Explorer. This adventure will have you explore the deep jungle. Photograph the wildlife, track rare animals, and dwell into the ancient tombs, and search for treasure. It says the uh, internary, I have no idea what, how to pronounce that, I apologize, but it does say page 3, photography challenge, page 5, animal tracking, page 6, tombs, and the music discs in Ancient Guardian. So I'm guessing it's just going to go ahead and tell you about the stuff that's going to go down, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to go ahead and get right into the map itself. What's this going to say? These Use these exits to travel fast. Okay. Okay, I get it. But let's just go and go. And wow. Wow, we got butterflies. We got cute butterflies. Now, 4J, they definitely are really good at doing the animation for these different mobs. Because they definitely have done their good fair share of games and stuff like that. So, this is our tent, I'm guessing. So, oh, so this was our tent. Okay, so this is actually a big tent. Oh my goodness. Uh, how can such a big space fit inside the small little tent? Oh, we got ourselves cameras. Let's go ahead and see this. So I'm guessing that in order to take a photo, you need to go ahead and like go somewhere. Oh, we got it. We got it. We took it. Okay, so you just have to look at the creature and then it takes the photo right away. Okay, now that's actually pretty cool. So we click on this button and it gets added in and we found ourselves a butterfly. Yay! Our first animal. I mean, I definitely really do like butterflies. They are pretty cool creatures. I mean, they fly around and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and come back out here. And let's go ahead and take a photo of this centipede. Uh, come on, let me take a photo of the centipede, please. Or millipede, whatever you are. I can never tell the difference. Okay, so regardless of all that, are there any more creatures? There is a mosquito. Let's take a photo of the mosquito. Come on. Come on. I got... No. Mosquito! Seriously, it's actually a lot harder than you think, but we got ourselves two more undeveloped film and I almost went right back out of the tent. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I'm loving this so far. So I can now click on that and both photos are now added in there. And so we got, took a picture of the centipede. I think that's a centipede. I'm not entirely too sure. I can never tell the difference and I really don't know what that flying creature is. Now that I'm looking at it, it don't really look like a mosquito, but hey, you know what? I don't care. I don't care what it was, we're just going to go and exit, and I think that we found ourselves pretty much all the animals within this location, so we got ourselves some food in here, we got ourselves some bread, some potatoes, some apples, and stuff like that, pretty great stuff, oh, expedition has just begun, welcome to the jungle, now I got the song in my head, take a picture of the beautiful parrot, yes, we got the parrot, what do we got in here, we got ourselves, okay, that's a better machete, not mache, okay, machete. That's a better machete than we had before. So yeah, this is a tent, so I'm guessing this tent. Okay, so this takes you right back to this location, but does it save your progress? I'm guessing it would, but let's go and put those on there, and there we go. We got ourselves those photos taken, and we're just gonna go ahead and go, go, go. Oh, okay, so this opened up. 
Okay, so that's how you go back. And then the green one is just going to go ahead and take you back to that location. I like that quite a bit. Oh, oh, there's a spider. There's a spider. Uh, let's take a photo of the spider. Oh, no. Oh, it's an evil spider. This is why I hate spiders, okay? Okay, hey. This is why I hate spiders. I hate jumping spiders the most. Oh, my goodness. I think the spiders are quite dangerous in real life. But at least we got the photo with in here. Some apples. I'm not going to take any apples, actually. I think I will take the apples. Because we may actually need as much food as possible. Because I know that there is a very, very mean boss fight in that temple over there. I believe it's in that temple. I'm not entirely too sure. I don't really know. I mean, I've seen the trailer. Stuff like that. We took a picture of that insect already. Let's go ahead and look around here, though. Make sure that we're not missing any animals. We can go directly that way. Or we can go down this way. I think I'll go down this way first. And, oh, what in the world? A centipede just fell. What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a zombie. You are a creepy looking zombie. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He has just been destroyed. Any more zombies around here? There are no more zombies, as I can see. What's this? A campfire. I need good food in here. Um, another raft. It's like a boat ride. Okay, so maybe these are like different entrances. I'm not entirely too sure. Does this have an inventory? It does not. So... Let's just go ahead and see on where this leads. I wonder about what's actually going to await us on the other end of this. Oh, uh, there's another zombie. Have you taken a photo of this zombie? Is this like a different one? Let's go see. Is this a different zombie? No, it's not a different zombie. Okay, zombie. Uh, was that a drowned I saw? I think I saw a drowned over there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot there are creatures under the water. And so we can actually go ahead and take like the photos of the creatures underwater and stuff like that. So that's the one good thing about this, because those are just your standard Minecraft mobs. They're just retextured, I believe, like your standard zombie. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, and to your left, you shall see a killer skeleton. Oh, okay, let's take a photo of the killer skeleton. Oh, we're about to die. We're about to die. Oh, get out of here. Don't die. Don't do die on me. What's this? Interact with the valves and change water levels. Oh, I think I know how to do this. They actually use the, um, oh, look at that, a boat came up here. Oh, what the, a, there's a leopard, or a cheetah. I can't tell the difference between those creatures. I think it might be like a cheetah. Uh, but anyway, this is actually a really cool little effect. And how they actually do that is, will they actually use, like, the fill command? Oh, no, 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 get away from me. No, yeah, you stay over there. Oh, no, no, stay away from me. Where are you? Where are you? You stay away from me. Okay? You stay away from me. Oh, there's a prawn over there. Oh, oh, crocodile. 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 No, no, no. Stay away from me. Get away from me. No, 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 no. Stay away from the crocodile. Stay away from the crocodile. I'm in his den. Oh, oh, where are you? Here, crocodile. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, let's take a photo of the piranha. I think we're safe in our boat. The crocodile can't get to us. Oh, he's dancing under our boat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's take... No! Okay, checkpoint. We hit a checkpoint. That's perfect. But that is a mean, mean crocodile. I actually want to take a photo of the piranha. Oh, where's the piranha? Where's the piranha? Where's the piranha? They're... Oh, they're... I'm um, like piranha food. Doesn't this remind you of that one of that one scene from from you know Ice Age where it just has uh, like the squirrel? I forget what his name is Scrat. I think whenever he just gets attacked by all the piranha, that's what it kind of reminds me of. That crocodile still want to eat me. Still wants to eat me. Okay, where are we going from here? We're going right up here. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I sound all scared now. Probably because that alligator or crocodile kind of shook me up. Okay, so we're actually going around these areas. This is actually pretty cool. So, we can now go ahead and raise the water level. And the alligator's going to try to eat me again. Oh boy, this is not going to be good. Alright, what's in this chest? Just apples. I'm not going to take any apples. We're going to go right over here. And let's just go ahead and go across here. And we're now going to see about what's actually inside of this chest. So, what's in here? A golden apple. We found a glorious golden apple pushing a water breathing. So it looks like we're going underwater. And I need to go ahead and drink this. 
And let's just go ahead and do this right now. Oh, water breathing. There we go. And let's go underwater. We need to go ahead and raise the valve. Oh, we raised the valve. No. Oh, we're going to die here. We are going to die here. Oh, get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, thank you. No. That's cheating. You're not. You can't. You can't get me like that. Yeah, you, you end up going down there and dying. What's this cave? Here's a cave. Let's go straight down to there. But I don't think that's where we're meant to go, right? Or do we go this way? I don't, I don't, I have no clue. But I think that what we'll do is, I think we're going to end off this episode right here. So that was actually pretty much the first half of this map. I actually have, have actually enjoyed this so far. This is actually a really decent map. Way to go, 4J. You definitely know how to make a good map. But please let me know of what you think of this down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Remember to tap the bell to stay notified of uploads. And I will catch you next time.